fascinating. I've wow. been studying her. We went to the Parliament of World Religions together in Spain and talked to the head of the UN about needing to be, uh, he goes, we need to reorganize the UN. I'm very disappointed. Frederico, what's his name? Hey, what you're going to do, but I'm you, so I'm doing it. That's so my keep point. talking. I am you, and you are me. And uh, together we'll make history. There you go. So I've always been a poet, and I have this thing called the limerick gene. My dad gave it to me, uh. where you can make things rhyme and do everything, and, and it always turns out in time and everything. Yeah. And so I learned how to do that as a method of survival. I'm not saying that I like, hey, I had to survive some cruel shit because I was a All right, go. Thing. Keep on trucking. So, um, bottom line was my father was extraordinary, my mother was extraordinary. They had four kids in five years, but they both had master's degrees before they had the kids. They were both from Berkeley, they were both scholars. My dad was a documentary filmmaker who went around Japan and had language skills. And was, he won the National Shakespeare Award in college and was best friends with Robert Redford when they were ch children, like in junior high, like, you know, really the formative years. Right. My father did a project when he was getting his degree in cinematography from UCLA in the 60s. He did a project, it was probably late 60s, must be around there. Um, it was called a Time to Move, and it was a, it was a study on how the kids were. And then when he put them through a series of movement therapy, their personalities changed. Fascinating. And then he also studied with Ida Rolf, who was one of the first Rolfers. And I don't know if you know about that kind yeah, of deep wildness, but he was part of the first team of Rolfers. And okay. he said,